Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I hope it's recording this time. Last time it was not recording. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. It's me, Kimar, and I'm back with another video. In today's video, we are going to be doing birthday makeup. I know y'all probably heard all of the, all of the opinions going around about birthday makeup. You know, I always was like, stuff like that bothers me because I feel like people that don't wear makeup always have something to say about people that do. And I also feel like the second someone feels confident in something they do, here comes the haters and the naysayers with something to say. And honestly, I never spoke on it because I was like, what even is birthday makeup? Like, what do you mean by that? And then I saw this girl get her makeup done for her birthday. Like I see, it was on a makeup artist page. And I was like, oh, that's what they mean by birthday makeup. Let me throw my hat in the ringer. So I'm gonna be doing some birthday makeup today. I'm starting off with this NYX Bear With Me Daily Moisturizing Primer with sunscreen. I've been using this stuff called Donkey Milk on my skin for like maybe a week. Um, but I've been on my period that week, so I can't give it a review until like a week after my period because I, I don't think you can fairly judge a skincare if you use it on your period. So anyways, first I'm going to start with the eyes. And I think what, like why people, I, I think the glitter eyeshadow is what people don't like about the birthday makeup. And I don't have any loose glitter, so I can't really go full out with it. Like how, you know, when they put the glue down and they do the loose glitter but i am gonna do like a glitter cut crease because i feel like that's what the birthday makeup is that people don't like when people have like a unsolicited opinions about makeup it's super annoying i seen this girl on tiktok and it was her birthday and she was doing her own makeup it wasn't nothing like this she was just doing you know a regular little look or whatever and she put some blush on and everybody in the comments was like you need to they were like i don't like the blush try a cooler blush did she ask you like people are always giving advice that nobody asked for and i feel like it's not fine to have you know an opinion i mean it's not wrong to have an opinion like you know that's part of being a human that's a part of the human experience but i feel like a lot of people feel the need to share their experience with the world their opinion with the world or their opinion with someone who literally does not care to hear it like share your opinions with your friends your family but like a stranger on the internet that's just living her life doing her makeup and feeling good about herself people were hating so much on her makeup i don't like the makeup i don't like the makeup and you find I find that a lot of people that hate on people's makeup and always have something to say literally can't carve out an eyebrow to save their life. And they literally don't even have the confidence to even try to do their own makeup. So I'm like, shut up. Like, people be so annoying. I've always liked makeup. So I feel like even when I was younger, I remember when I was in middle school, like I was just kind of starting to get acne and i used to wear makeup but i would i was not wearing any face makeup i was wearing just um eyeliner and sometimes eyeshadow maybe a little mascara i wasn't even doing my brows or nothing just like eye, eye makeup only so like eyeliner mascara and maybe just maybe some eyeshadow and this girl she was like I, I was talking about my acne or something and she was like do you you don't think it's the makeup you wear and i said no i don't see how eyeliner would give you acne and she's like, I think it's the makeup you wear. And I'm like, girl, I didn't ask what you think. Like people are always giving their opinions where it's not needed. And I think we as the girls need to start eating people up a little more often. Because who asked you? Like, I feel like that is an important question. When people start to just give you random advice that you never asked for, ask them like, who asked? Who asked? Like literally, because um, I'm using the LA Girl Pro Conceal High Definition Concealer in the color. It's called orange concealer, that's it. I'm trying to color correct. I don't even know if I'd be doing this right, but I, I can't say I've seen much of a difference doing it, but I see Jackie Ina do it, so. We love Jackie Ina. Jackie Ina's been getting a lot of like unsolicited hate, I think, like for just being fabulous. And I get like how <clears throat> some influencers like blow up and become out of touch, but I don't know. I feel like you had to be there. You had to see Jackie Ines come up to like really get it. I'm like acting like I'm really struggling to find a palette. When I got palettes for Christmas, my mom got me, or my sister, I think it was my mom though. It was my mom. Yeah, yeah. She got me this 35T Morphe palette. You, you know, a Morphe palette, I'm gonna have this for at least 10 and a half years. 
I'm I'm like trying to debate how hard I should go. Um, Y'all know I love a purple and pink together. This has like this this can be like you can do a whole look out of this one palette, and I don't want to go too soft glam because I think that's the part that like makes it not birthday makeup. I think I'm gonna do pink. I'm gonna do pink. That'll give the vibe that I'm looking for. Using a fluffy brush, and I'm just going to put. Um, I'm a darker girl. So I'm going to put Grab Drinks out of the 35T palette in my crease. And I will link this palette below if you like the look and you want to buy it. Um, and then I just, I prime my eyelids with just some concealer. But I feel like the discourse around birthday makeup is going to discourage people from getting their makeup done and being super confident on their birthday. And I'm, I'm here to tell you, forget the haters. If it's, if it's not one thing, it's another. If it wasn't birthday makeup, they'd be like, I hate graduation makeup. Like, shut up. Y'all, today is January 13th. I am declaring that Black History Month starts today. I'm going to make a TikTok about it. But I'm like, I'm, I don't want to wait on Black History Month. It, like, let's just go ahead and get it cracking. So what I would do in this situation, you can do if you have the resources. I would take a brown, though, on the outer side just to blend it a little more. So I'm going to take, I'm going to take chill moment because it's kind of light. And I think it'll work. I'm gonna take Chill Moment that's right there out of the Morphe 35T. And I'm just gonna take it across the brow bone. Okay. So now what I'm gonna do is, um, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna carve out my crease first, yeah. I have a hooded eye, so, you know, you gotta look up, make sure this crease will actually be seen. And one thing about it, on my eyes, a crease eats. So if I'm gonna do a glitter crease for my birthday, the girls are just gonna have to take that. I also think the whole birthday makeup thing, it's just like, I don't know. Because I, I think that birthday makeup is specific to black women in a way. Like they are the ones that I see. I, I see this conversation take place in the black community. And I'm like, black, black women can't have nothing. That's how I feel for real. I'm like, it's always an issue, it's always a problem. <clears throat> At the same time, it's always people trying to imitate, trying to take the look, trying to do some box braids. Like the whole, um, <clears throat> can you wear box braids on your birthday? What? Like, what is? what do you even mean? I wear box braids whenever I wanna wear box braids. So for the crease, I'm gonna do a mixture. I'm gonna go first with, or with, for the lid, I'm sorry. I'm gonna go first with another round right there and then i'm gonna go on top of that with share gossip i don't know about these names like some of them i guess they go with like drinks and stuff but this is giving valentine's day i'm actually gonna my next video that i'm gonna try to record today i don't know my vibe just kind of got thrown just a minute ago so i'm trying to like keep my momentum going which i'll talk about i really want to just talk about some things this year because i'm not in therapy and i should be so I'll just talk about it with y'all, my, with my 12 faithful viewers of my channel. One of the things I definitely want to do like a chit chat, get ready with me on is, <clears throat> y'all, like, dang, <clears throat> is imposter, um, imposter, imposter, imposter syndrome. Is it imposter, imposter? I don't know. Because I feel like I've been dealing with that a lot lately as it relates to this whole social media thing. And that's something I never thought I dealt with. Cause one thing about me, I have a lot of confidence, clearly, but it's like, do I? But y'all see why I'm not going to leave it this this hot pink. I'm going to put something over it because I don't know. Y'all know I'm always like, layer your glitter. So now I'm going on top with um, share gossip. A lot of people on their birthday do a pressed glitter. Um, I would have done that. I just don't have one right now. The times I've done like pressed glitter things, they creased up on my eye. And I already have like pretty bad eye creases, eyelid creases. So not a pressed glitter, a loose glitter, sorry. I almost think I could layer one more on top of it. We're gonna put my bestie, I think, this one right there on top. Or I don't know, should I go something lighter? It's either, I'm thinking so cute instead. Cause I want something that's a little more bright the whole like conversations like the whole birthday makeup thing and everything is the reason why i deleted my public twitter because you, you notice your friends even have stupid opinions and you're like you know what i want to remain friends with you so let me just del delete the whole let, let me just get rid of the whole account because i don't even want to see what you post and i'm i've been so much happier without having a public twitter 
Because somebody annoys me, I could just block them. I don't know them. And I follow, like, you know, Twitter personalities and stuff and, and celebrities. So um, I'm going to put Sweetest Tea in my... Am I? No, I'm going to put... I'm going to put with, with Attitude, I think. I think that's the one I'm going to put. With Attitude. And then I'm probably going to put either... I think I'm going to put With Attitude. And then I'm going to put Ultra Sultry on top of each other in the crease, just to give the eyes, you know, some depth. Maybe I won't put that brown in there. But I do think like sweeping this purple more towards the inner corner. Oh. And then I'm gonna go back over with that, <clears throat> that brown. I think it was chill moment. Uh, maybe I will use that brown, ultra sultry. I'm gonna leave it at that for now. No, I'm not. <clears throat> I'm going to take an angled brush and I'm going to go across my lash line and my both my lash line, my upper and lower, I guess, um, to add just some darker color there. Probably I'm going to do ultra sultry for that. I'm going to take in the mood. It was like it's like a little bit darker than ultra sultry. I'm just brushing that across like as if it's liner. And then I'm also going to put it under my eye. Okay. And that's going to be the, I think that's going to be the eyes for right now. Stay with me. I, I feel like I'm not making a good case for birthday makeup right now, but just stay with me. Stay with me. <laughs> I'm going to fix it. Um, now on to the concealer and all that part though. I'm going to take my LA Girl Pro Conceal in what I think is the color Fawn. And I am going to conceal under my eyes and all that good stuff. Oh, and I'm also going to take, okay, first I'm going to blend out this color corrector, but I want to try that like bright under eye thing because I've kind of been living for it. I think it would go well with a makeup look as dramatic as this one. And I feel like since men have so much to say about women's business, we need to start talking about some of the stuff they do. You know, it's always the one like the one pick me girl and I think I, I mean you can have your opinion about birthday makeup whatever but you know it's like some girls they didn't think nothing about birthday makeup until the men started having a problem with it and now they're like yeah it is ugly girls shut up this is the black opal concealer brightening concealer in the color le latte I've done a haul but I'm just putting it right there because it is really bright and then I'm going to put my regular concealer everywhere else. Y'all, I ate some of those um, sp spicy Cool Ranch Doritos. If you have a weak stomach, they are not for you. Like, them things. Mm -mm. Um, so I'm going to go over all of this with my NW8. Um, NW48. NW8. What's I talking about? And I'm going to sponge all of the rest of this concealer in as I put on my foundation. I don't feel like that brighter concealer did anything. Like, looks exactly the same. <laughs> I thought it was really gonna get. Maybe I should put it over the foundation. I'm gonna try to put it over the foundation. And keep in mind, my eyebrows are not done. So <clears throat> that could also be a reason why this isn't, you know, looking the best if you're not liking where we're going. Just trust the process. Definitely make sure you blend it out with the other side of the sponge that has the foundation on it. So it's not, you know, you don't have a whole bunch of flashbacks and harsh lines, but. Okay, now I'm gonna bake real quick and I'm going to do my, oh, and I don't have my lashes either. So that's another thing. I'm gonna do my eyebrows and probably my lashes while I bake. I'm using the Black Opal True Color powder in the color medium. Ooh. And I feel like the point of birthday makeup is it's very full coverage. Which I feel like if that's not what you're looking for on your birthday, you should tell the person that's doing your makeup. Because they're just going to, you know, do their thing. And full coverage is not for everybody. And it's not for every day. Some days I don't do like super full coverage makeup. Where you at? Yoo-hoo! Oh, here she goes. My eyebrow pencil is Juvia's Place. And this thing has been through it. Oh, a little thick. I have to dial those back just a little bit. <clears throat> I haven't done my eyebrows in a while. So that's why. I'm just taking a little bit of concealer. That's a little better. They're still a little thick. 
but what, what am I supposed to do? Shave down my eyelashes? I think it's not even that they're thick. They're just kind of dark. Maybe I can take like a lighter eyeshadow on them. No, they're thick. But it's like, I'm not, I didn't add anything. That's just my eyebrows. I'm gonna stop for a second. Till after I put on my eyelashes, I'm not really gonna know. Like, I feel like I can't see the vision till the eyelashes. Um, and I said I was gonna do that while I'm baking. I'm taking these, this mystery pack of lashes. I don't know who, what, where, when, how. I think they're the ones I got from the hair store when that I was talking about in my um last get ready with me on my Christmas day one have I ever told y'all why I stopped doing makeup basically one I didn't feel like I was that good at it like I was okay and also it just used to stress me out like and I do not regret stopping at all like then one time this girl asked me to do her graduation for her my do her graduation do her makeup for her graduation and the graduation was at like eight. So I got up at like six something to get set up. The girl just canceled like last minute. She was like, yeah, I'm not gonna be able to make it. I was like, ah. and that's not when I stopped. I did it for a little bit after that. But then yeah, I eventually was like, nah, this ain't, this ain't for me. And people would hit me up. Cause I asked on my Finsta when I stopped, I was like, should I make an announcement or should I just stop? And people were like, you know, just stop. But I should have made an announcement because people still used to hit me up like. And that's why I'm also glad I changed my Instagram name. So just Kimara Nicole. Which is a pro tip if you're trying to like make yourself a brand. I feel like a lot more brands have been able to find me since I changed my Instagram name to my YouTube name. And I'm like, let me take it before I blow up and somebody else takes it. I have a nervous stomach right now. Like I'm getting hot. I know why, but I can't really explain why. And honestly, maybe it's not a nervous stomach. Maybe it's some cool, rich, spicy Doritos. <sighs> I have to get up again. I'm gonna stop it though, because this, this footage is not gonna transfer to my computer if I keep it this long. Okay, I'm back with my mascara. Low key, I wanna try to use that bond from my last video when I did the the false gear, which I think I called it lash gear the whole video, but I corrected it in the title. And I'm also gonna do some bottom mascara. Now I'm gonna take my soft focus finishing powder from Black Radiance and just dust all of the excess powder and stuff off. Y'all, I had an epiphany the other night. I was like, whole time I've been thinking my life sucks when I really just don't like my job. Like it's, it's actually not my whole life and it could be like, it could be that my whole life is like in shambles, but it's not. I just don't like my job. I'm taking my makeup revolution, um, like contour palette that I've had forever, but I've lost my bronzer. This is why I don't travel with makeup. Cause when I came back um, from spending Christmas with my family, a lot of my makeup was gone and I probably left it somewhere or whatever. I think I had it in my wallet, it probably fell out. Should I do blush? I feel like birthday makeup would definitely have blush. I'm gonna do the color spiked because it's not that bright or anything. And then I am going to highlight with the same highlighter in the Juvia's Place, I mean, in the Makeup Revolution palette. I actually do like that highlighter. We gotta do the inner corner. Okay, and last but not least, because I think we're about done. Last but not least, we gotta do lipstick and then I will be done with this birthday makeup. No, like seriously, where did the stencil come from? I have no idea what this is. Maybe I'll use this Juvia's Place lipstick because I don't feel like getting up again. And then you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put some concealer in the middle. So it's an old trick I used to do a red lipstick. Oh, that was a lot. Oh Lord, ooh, 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 ooh. I did not, what in my, what, what did I do? Okay, that's better. I don't hate that. I kind of do. Okay. I kind of like it. I think I gotta do my hair and put on my clothes. I'm gonna use this Makeup Revolution sweat Setting Spray, Palming Makeup Fixing Spray. Ooh. It's time for some more of that. Okay, I'm gonna go do my hair and I'm gonna put on my birthday outfit. Or it, it might not be that. 
spectacular. But I'm gonna go get dressed and then I'll be back to finish the video. Okay, so this is the finished look. I'm not gonna show y'all the whole thing because I don't have no shoes, but you know, full dress action. And yeah, this is my birthday makeup, my contribution to the birthday makeup conversation. It's a little much, it really is for me. Like I'm kind of trying to like it. I'm like, were they right? Is birthday makeup ugly? I don't know. Only thing I really don't like though is I feel like my um that brighter that brighter concealer is I don't know it's it's something for me to get used to. But yeah, if it were my birthday, this would definitely be the the fit. That's all for this video. I don't really know what this was honestly. Just 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 let me have this. Let me have this freebie video. I really really hope you guys enjoyed it. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell your friends to subscribe, and I will definitely see y'all in the next video. Bye.